Joining us now is the Arizona Cardinals 2022 Ed Block Courage Award recipient. He is well known to the Baltimore area because he began his professional career with the Baltimore Ravens. That would be tight end Max Williams. Max, it is great to see you. Congratulations. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I appreciate that. And, uh, you know, just enjoying the offseason like everyone else, watching some good football in the, in the playoffs. You know, it meant a lot, especially since, like you said, my teammates voted on it. So for me, it was one of those awards that I don't know if you ever, ever want to like win that award because it usually means something happened. But to have the honor of my teammates believed in me to I deserve this award, it, it meant a lot when I got it. I think it was a little bit of both. One, because having the drop foot and having the bad knee injury, I didn't know if I was going to be able to physically do anything. So it really was one of those trial and errors as we went through it. And the mental aspect of it, it was, it was tough, but I have such a great support system with my wife and my family and everyone always been in my corner that whenever I was getting down or things were getting tough, I always had someone in my corner to bring me back up to keep pushing me and telling me, hey, it only can go uphill. Definitely my dad. Always, obviously, uh, he played 11 years. He actually won the I Block Courage Award back, I think it was like 97 or 99, something like that. And so really for me, watching him play and seeing what it took and having someone like that to look up to really, truly inspired me throughout my whole life and my career so far. You know, I think that, uh, I don't know if that's one of the awards you want to share with your dad, but I think it's also an award I like sharing with my dad. And I think it's pretty cool because I think it shows me where I got it from inside, where I have that drive, where I wasn't going to let this stop me. And obviously my dad came back from a terrible eye injury and he played a couple more years after that. So really I always had that to turn to is like, you know what? I can do this. I can make it happen. I've seen it happen. So that's what I did. Don't Stop Believing Journey, or Picture by Kid Rock and Sheryl Crow, depending if it's a duet with my brother-in-law. Ooh, see, I'm a big milkshake guy, so that's a tough question. I like to experiment with milkshakes, but just plain ice cream, either cookies and cream or chocolate chip cookie dough. Okay, follow-up, craziest milkshake flavor you've tried? Hot chocolate mix, Butterfingers, a banana, chocolate syrup, a little bit of vanilla flavoring, and whole milk. Terrell Suggs punching me in my stomach the first day of OTAs on the first play and then laughing and welcoming me to the league. Well, college football in and of itself, I think is one of the coolest experiences anybody could ever go through. So I'll exclude that. Um, probably my senior year of high school. Um, my brother and I were on the same varsity team along with our, our two cousins that uh, we all grew up in, on the same street. So they're, my two cousins were practically like my younger brothers as well. Um, and so the four of us got to play on the same team for a year. And that was one of the most fun experiences that I ever had. And it was a pretty cool, you know, I had a lot of success, obviously, in high school. And, you know, there's a there's a really cool article that highlighted, you know, us four and then my entire other extended family through my grandparents that all played throughout the Philly area. And, and most of us went to the same high school. So it was a that was a pretty cool moment. Um, and then uh, the, 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 the day I committed to Notre Dame was very, very cool. I would say getting to like like winning the Big Ten championship and then taking that into the Rose Bowl game. Um, ever since I was a kid, I had, you know, I was like, as you're, like, if you're a kid that plays football, you watch like college football, you watch pros, all that kind of stuff. And growing up, I was, um, I was a fan of Vince Young when he was at Texas. And I just remember like the year that he, he went crazy. And like, it was uh, Texas versus USC in the national championship game. And it was at the Rose Bowl. And I remember watching that game. And it was just like, obviously it was a, one of the best games of all time. But I was like, I stayed up, you know, and watched the whole thing, and I watched like his game winning tech. And I was like, from that point on, I was like, man, I wanna, I want, I wanna play in the Rose Bowl. Like that would be very dope. Um, 
And when I committed to Penn State, I didn't like we had the sanctions, so we didn't, weren't even allowed to go to any any bowl games when I like when I first committed. So getting a chance to actually play in the Rose Bowl was like, man, like I never thought I'd actually be able to do it once I committed here and to actually do it. And then I had like, had like 180 yards and two touchdowns. I had a good game. So it's like that's something that I always remember. So, um, I would say there's probably two moments. Uh, senior year of high school. Senior year of high school, yeah, we made it to semi semifinals and playoffs. Um, and that was kind of big for us that year. Um, and then just, you know, senior year of high school is always a big football moment, just kind of with those guys, some of those guys, um, and playing football with them for the last time. And then also, um, before the NFL would have been twenty sixteen at Colorado, uh, when we made it to the Pac Twelve Championship.